Okay, good evening. My name is Shukri the Sensei and today we have from Europe and he's in Malaysia today from Belgium, Mr. Johan Hamid, who is a global investor. Okay, he invests in the US. He has uh, properties around Europe and also around the world and uh, he has very unique insights to Europe. And one thing that I have, uh, I asked him and I want him to describe to you is this concept of bail-in. See, I don't fully understand that. See, I'm Asian, I've lived in Asia, and uh, when the banks fail, at least in Asia, Mr. Big Brother, the government, has to come and rescue us. In fact, I was also schooled in the USA. Yeah. And as far as I remember, <laughs> that during the 2008 financial crisis, the US government came in and bailed out, not all, but they bailed out a couple of banks. You see that? And they even bailed out a hedge fund, <laughs> 10 years before that, long-term capital management. So I understood bail out, okay? But what is bail in and, and, and how did it come about? Let, let, let's ask Johan to give his perspectives on this very, very unique topic and unique word. So I remember 2008, the crisis, right. which I, I, I knew it was coming for a simple reason. I took a bike trip in 2006 in the US was riding and uh, I saw mm, papers like this, cards everywhere on any poles. There was like 20, 30 cards. I'm buying a house, house for sale, call me. Uh, and I knew that the market was uh, overeating and I knew something was uh, not right uh, at that time. So I quickly called my sister in Washington DC. I said, sell your house, which she did. And um, mm -hmm. six months after, it took a while, but yeah. and that house, had, of course, had appreciated as she did. And then after that, um, she sold it, make a profit. Uh, that was good. And after that, it started tanking. So the bail in it started. The, the first one that I I, I remember was in uh, Cyprus. And you remember the Greeks. Uh, the Cypriots, the, Spani the Spanish, the Italians, they all suffered a lot uh, because they were over, basically they were over leveraged, meaning they borrowed too much. But what's interesting is that as much as in Belgium, banks were saved, some of them were saved or absorbed, mm -hmm. uh, the same in France. What happened in, Ch in Cyprus is that the banks itself were saved in a different way. So instead of doing a bail out, they did a bail in. And what's a bail in? Bail in is simply uh, you have, let's say, fifty thousand savings mm -hmm. on your uh, on your account in uh, in the bank. The government will say, "Oh, you have fifty thousand. Let me take this fifty thousand for a short while, which can be long, <laughs> and I'll use that money to save the bank." So it's you have people with money in the bank could not use it. It's, I mean, this is a concept that is, people mm. might not understand, but it has happened. So the most beautiful part of this is that of course the, 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 the people from Cyprus, this really suffered hard. Yes. Some people could not pay their the salary, some people uh, could not pay their rent. Um, and so what is interesting is that after that, the um, the very uh, clever people in Brussels, they start to think, oh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> this is an interesting concept and we want to stop government to yes. bail out their banks because some government are stronger than others or they're right. more financially secured. I would think first of uh, Germany. Germany, yeah. Germany. So, Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank. Uh, so, they, they forced every country, they forced them to sign the bailing law. And if you look in the newspaper in, uh, I think it was in France, when they passed the law, the article was no bigger than this. Of course, nobody saw it. Nobody, saw, and, and even if you saw it, oh, the, the government has passed the law of, of, of the bailing. And who, we won't understand. <laughs> and, and we won't understand. We won't understand. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh, what is this? That's interesting. And I start doing research, and then I, I linked it to uh, Cyprus. Ah, okay. 
And not only did they force, they, 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 make it sure that they made it sure that every country signed it and mm -hmm. implemented it. And in top of that, some northern countries that are not part of Europe, they also implemented this law. So right. what does it mean? And, and don't even think about the, your insurance. Every bank account is insured. Don't even think about it. Do you think, how do you think yeah. these insurance come up? Do you think? Do you really think the the government has hundred thousand euro somewhere parked to insure your bank account? No, of course they don't. They don't. They don't. They just borrow that money when they will need it, which is in chaos. So the key point here: this is if if, if there is something you must learn from any of our video for yourself, if there is anything that you must remember: do not leave money in your bank even if it's insured and i know people will criticize me especially some politicians <laughs> especially some uh, idiot who have no clue about finance but don't leave money even i mean if, if you all you have is ten thousand um make sure you can access it quickly uh, and, and remember now we have you're facing a problem if you put it out then you have cash and of course what are all these governments doing they are preventing you from having cash. Uh, they, they force you not to, uh, to have cash. So you have to be careful. And I'm not saying go to gold. I'm not saying go to crypto. I'm not saying go to crazy investments. And especially yeah. bonds, don't even ever think about buying bonds yeah. now. Uh, I'm not saying buy shares. I'm saying do not leave the money in the bank. And for some, it will be, uh, they, they will just keep the cash. Some of them mm -hmm. will go for gold or silver. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's another story. I think we should Correct. talk about gold and silver at one stage. Um, keep it and don't even think about it that you will be ever um, saved by the, by the government. It's not going to happen. Correct. And uh, it is, we are seeing extremely interesting times and it's going to get worse. But I mean Correct. worse meaning real worse. I'm talking about 2008 was nothing. Okay, nothing. The the one that is coming is going to come big time. Yeah, it's going. Course. I suspect it's going to start with Europe. Yeah, but not necessarily in Europe. Yes, it might be like Turkey lighting the fire. Yes. but that fire could just die in the next few weeks. Correct. Correct. But one way or another, the situation in Europe, the financial situation is so bad yeah. that you don't want to be there stuck with cash there. So, of course, uh, if, if you know a bit about debts, there are good debts, bad debts. It's, I, I would rather say go into bad debts because bad debts, uh, good debts. I would rather say go into good debts. The bad debts, of course, the credit cards, the car, yes. uh, that those are not great debts. Even your debts, the, the homes, that your mortgage, it's not such a great debt. But still, it's still a, a better debt than a credit card. Uh, the reason it's not such a great debt because it's not creating any income. The house that you are staying in, is, it's not creating any income. True. But if you buy another house and you get a good um, rent out of it, Correct. and if your Correct. repayment is above your rent, Correct. then you're in good hands. Then you're in good hands. So I think we, we've covered that. And the best thing is if you're paying for that house, what you own is actually less because of inflation yeah and if you have some depreciation <coughs> in that currency then and you're earning in another currency that's even better that's even better yeah. so be careful and Correct. if you don't believe me if you want to do your research just type Correct. build in and check in your own country always check in your country do your due diligence check for yourself cyprus and uh all the best to you guys Yes, and, and then when you talk about Cyprus, I, it also feels weird, you know, because you had Cyprus doing the bail-in, you had Greece with the uh, problems on the banks, and now you have Turkey. So they're very close to one another, you know? Yeah. So this seems a region that starts to spark, you know, like Greece has started a spark, then it was Cyprus' turn, and now it's Turkey's turn. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's interesting. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, whatever... Uh, Draghi or whatever says. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this guy. <laughs> I mean, seriously. 
Close your ears. <laughs> no, no, listen. But <laughs> and, and and oh, I have got a good one. <laughs> Something made me laugh a few years ago is um, they were putting in newspaper. Oh, such and such banks passed the stress test. I knew we were in trouble. The minute they I advertise, tell everything. Yeah. Yeah. The minute they say, "Oh, these banks passed the stress test," you know we have a serious problem is starting. And not many people okay. know that, uh, come back to Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank might be appearing very strong in Europe, yes. but they've been degraded in the US. Yes. You don't advertise that much in Europe. So don't take my word, do your research. All the best to you and see you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye.